Hey, what's up there guys? Corey here with Gotta Be Mobile, and today we're taking a look at the new LG G5. And uh, what we want to do here is give you a quick look at the hardware and the software and kind of go over a couple of things we like and didn't like about LG's new phone and kind of how it differs from past phones and other devices kind of available now. So this is the new G5. Obviously it's much different from past phones from the front to the back. Everything about it has changed. So we toss everything out that we knew from past LG devices. All the buttons on the back are gone. We now have this unibody aluminum frame. and. Uh, little button back here for the fingerprint scanner because all the, the other buttons are now no longer on the back. So LG's done a lot of changes with the overall look of their phone for two reasons. One being that fingerprint scanner and this whole back piece kind of bottom slides off and there's this new modular design with tons of accessories that are eventually going to be coming soon and of course there's two cameras on the back. So well, let's get into the uh, the specs here. It's got this new aluminum design. It, it feels kind of plasticky. It doesn't feel as heavy or premium or solid as the Galaxy S7 or the iPhone. It, it doesn't have that same kind of f f premium flagshipness, but it, it is all aluminum. And then, uh, of course, here we have this new display on back. Go ahead and tap that fingerprint scanner and it instantly unlocks. Uh, we now have a smaller 5.3 inch display, so it's not as big as last year or the past couple of years for that matter. Instead of 5.5 inches, it's only 5.3. But we still have the same 2560 by 1440 Quad HD on this IPS display. It's a big panel with a not, you know, really nice colors and really good brightness and super high resolution. So it shouldn't be too much of an issue. It's not that much smaller, plus this big piece of glass kind of makes it still seem like a big phone. And then of course we have powerful Snapdragon 820 quad-core processor under the hood with 4 gigs of RAM and 32 gigabytes of internal storage. There's a micro SD slot on the side with a SIM tray to expand that storage. A new USB Type-C charging port that plugs in both ways on the bottom along with that speaker grill and a few other things. Speaking of the battery, it's also smaller like the screen. Instead of 3000 mAh, like almost you know the G3 and the G4 and a few others, it's only 2800 milliamp hours on the Gal on the, the new LG G5. So the screen's slightly smaller, the battery's also slightly smaller, but it does have that super fast charging and a slightly smaller screen to kind of make up for that difference in terms of battery life. So other than that, we have an 8 megapixel camera on the front and a quick charging 3.0 with that port on the bottom which will charge it from 0 to 80 percent in about 30-35 minutes which is very impressive although LG didn't actually include a, a quick charge 3.0 charger in the box it's only a 2.0 which is still plenty fast but would recommend people go out and buy a quick charge 3.0 certified charger to get this charging as fast as possible it also has that fingerprint scanner that doubles as the power button and two cameras on the back and one is a similar 16 megapixel camera that we had with the LG G4 which has a fast f1.8 aperture lens and image stabilization and that laser autofocus and all that but the other sensor up there is an 8 megapixel wide angle lens so it shoots 135 degree wide angle photos which is actually really impressive. The camera's probably my favorite part of the G5. It's, it's, a, it's a really nice experience. It takes great photos, great video, good low light. It's got a nice simple mode and tons of advanced features and raw shooting and a pro mode and and all that so it goes from simple to very complex it's got a lot to offer so that's pretty nice as well and just being able to control all that with the touch of buttons on the, the actual software is really nice so another thing here if you double tap volume down like before in about 0.8 seconds the camera launches so that is still there even though the buttons aren't on the back and of course we have Android 6.0 Marshmallow here it is not stock it's covered in you know the usual LG overlay similar to what Samsung and HTC and others do so it's not stock and they've kind of added a lot to it here there's a lot of white colors and they're bright greens and changes to the settings menu and stuff like that and then as you can see here it's a little bit different in terms of the screen there's no application tray which a lot of people kind of were confused about and didn't like there's no app tray and now there's just a bunch of folders kind of similar to what you get from Apple or something else so virtually every Android phones have an application tray but this doesn't. So there's just a bunch of folders with tons of bloatware. Um, and you can change that out. You can add third party launchers and LG is coming up with an update that will return that kind of application tray everyone's used to. But other than that, you know, it's plenty fast. It's plenty quick and stable and smooth and all the animations are nice and quick and everything kind of we expect from an Android device and all this can kind of be customized and changed and swapped around and buttons added and all this can be tweaked as well in here with some settings and there's all this stuff that was kind of enabled out of the box that's kind of unnecessary that we've turned off but it is Android it's covered in you know, their interface and while we'd, we'd rather them kind of take a route that 
Motorola or even HTC have done with kind of a stock Android and kind of enhance it with added functions. They've, they've just changed everything, similar to Samsung. So I mean the calendar and the gallery and the phone and the dialer and everything's different. But it's, it's, it's LG and it's what a lot of people know already and love from LG phones. So nothing too different there. This is Android 6.0, you know, kind of LG style. But one thing we did want to talk about, aside from the modular design, which is a big aspect of this phone in terms of the design and selling points, is uh, kind of the fit and finish. It's it's a nice phone. It's wrapped in aluminum and stuff, even though it might not feel all that aluminum. But it's got this kind of sh curved, chamfered, kind of beveled edge around the whole whole edge of it that kind of glistens light. If you can kind of see that, and a lot of a lot of phone makers do this kind of chamfered edge, but it's really unfinished and sharp on the G5. It, I mean, it, it catches all your fingers and it's kind of the SIM slots not, you know, goes in too far. So this has a really sharp edge too. And when you pick it up, it's just kind of sharp. And when you hold it, it's, it's just not finished very well. The, the overall fit and finish kind of seems to have a few issues that hopefully they can work out in terms of uh, manufacturing. I mean, and even up here at the top, it's got this kind of chamfered edge all across but then it just kind of like stops and there's plastic here instead of metal all the way through and the same thing over here if you can see that on screen it's just kind of got that little metal and then all of a sudden it just kind of stops and there's just little finish issues throughout and you can actually see light through this bottom part that comes off which you can't really see on video but that was very disturbing as well but the selling point here is you tap a button and like a gun the whole thing slides out. You can swap out the battery. So even though it is 2,800 milliamp hours, which you know is smaller than most, you can swap it out in seconds and throw it back in, which is kind of a nice plus. Not to mention the quick charging. So you snap that out and reboot the phone, and you're back in business with the LG G5. So they also have a bunch of modulars that are going to be coming soon. They're called LG Friends accessories, where you slide this out and you can add like a camera. It's called the LG Cam Plus. It kind of gives you like a better grip and a zoom wheel and a clickers for a couple other things like that to just kind of make it more of a, a camera experience rather than a smartphone experience. And then of course they have a couple other things that are coming soon. There's a new Bing & Olufsen DAC module that improves sound, kind of makes it like a hi-fi media player or a music player. Put in my code here. And a couple other things like that, but for the most part there's only that camera module available now, but there's going to be some VR cameras and a bunch of other things that LG hopes to add to the G5 to kind of make modular design beneficial for now it's just kind of a you know and not quite finished product to me where it's it just seems rushed a little bit and that the kind of fit and finish issues aren't quite my favorite and it's the you know the sharp edges kind of could have been done better but overall it's a good phone the lg g5 has got a nice screen it's fast the camera's pretty good and it charges super quick and the battery's you know replaceable and you can add expandable storage and runs the latest version of android so Overall, the G5 has kind of a lot to offer. It is available now on all carriers in the United States. Um, not quite my favorite, uh, mainly kind of because of the, the fit and finish. And, you know, it looks completely different, like a completely different phone on the front than the back, you know. But uh, overall, it's not bad. I'd probably place it behind the Galaxy 7 and the Edge and even the HTC 10, uh, maybe in fourth place or so. But it's still a good phone. And just kind of want to give you a quick look at the hardware and the software and explain some of that. But that's it, guys. Thanks for watching.